This is Suzanne Wagner and thank you so much for joining me. I am doing the daily numerology and the astrology for September 16th, 2020. If you add all those numbers together, you get a pure 20. And if you add the 2 and the 0 together, you get a 2. The number 2 is the number of negative mind, critical mind, and today the negativity is getting to us. The feeling of overwhelm is bigger than you can realize. Listen to what your body is telling you. Are you exhausted? Are you sleeping more? Are you sore in places that are not normal for you? Those are indicators that your body is storing stress and trying to handle it as best as it can. Give it a little help today. Do a cleanse, detox, get a massage, go for a walk or meditate. Give back to this body that does so much all the time for you. The mind can manifest terrible things into the physical plane. Do not let your mind become corrupted by thoughts and actions that will cause difficulties later on. Stay the course of kindness. That is a path that has potential for all life and allow for the growth of the amazing complex existences that are here, that are here to experience this level of being. The astrology today. The moon continues in picky, detail-oriented Virgo, making you want to get on top of things even more. Organization seems the key to calmness, a real challenge at this time and place. Finishing up what is on your plate is more important than beginning new things. We are in a great time of endings. This moment is a marker of the deep things hidden in the darkness of the unconscious self. To do great, innovative progression in the future, you must at moments descend into those places where secrets are hidden and suffering is stored. Today is about reflection. With Mercury moving towards a square to Jupiter, there is deep impatience that is tearing at the soul of things that refuse to budge. It is like an animal tearing at the restraints that have locked it in places where it can do no good. All aspects within have importance. They all have a place and time when they are wanted, needed, and desired. You need to rely upon those secret and hidden powers that surface rarely at the moment. All inner qualities have an original good intention. There are things that feel distracting and not worth your time and energy. There are things that seem to have no consequence regarding all of the actions or inactions that you take. Those that overstate and exaggerate are going to be prone to be blind to the immediate reality and cannot be trusted to follow through with actions that will have real consequence. Too many things are said that have no teeth and no bite. This moment may feel excruciatingly frustrating. This sense of powerlessness is building up in a charge of anger and that anger is going to boil over. All it needs is the right moment and everything that has been held in is going to explode out in ways that a majority of people will have little or no control over. Times are coming that will change the course of history. What will you tell your children and grandchildren about this moment in time? Will you be proud of your actions or ashamed of your inaction? I like to live a life from a place of no regrets. That even if I'm wrong, I know what my intention was, and my intention is to always help and serve all the forms of life on this planet. I want to help and heal. I want to do what is right, not just for myself, but for those that cannot protect themselves. You can make a difference, one small step at a time. In fact, that is the way to have the best and most long-lasting impact over time. Small consistent steps create a stable foundation to that new possibility. My quote for today, there is a path that has potential for all life, and that path will allow for the growth of the complex, amazing existences that are here for us to experience. And that path is love and kindness, care and compassion. Everything else has conditional value. My blog for today, the air I breathe holds ash. That ash is what is left of the lives, people, plants, animals, and microbes. It is such a tremendous amount of life force that it gives me a headache, a pain at the front in my third eye and at the back of my neck, which is at the back side of the third eye. 
It is forcing me to see past myself and into the life and death of so many at the hands of climate change. In our lack of action, we are all murderers in this environmental disaster. We are guilty of proliferating a co-conspiracy that is based on lies and avoidance. While I pray for fresh air, I recognize that I need this level of discomfort to remember the suffering that is happening for so many. Even in the middle of this global catastrophe, I recognize that while love is what breathes life into the world, hope is what makes things change and evolve. Thanks everybody.